Hello friends and welcome to the new tutorial on APN. This specific video is created based on the request from one of my subscribers where the request was to build an application wherein there is a step where a user has to approve or reject a particular application. Now in the previous tutorial what we had done is we created a simple employee registration form and on updating data into that form and submitting it records were getting updated to the database so in this tutorial we are going to develop a leave management solution wherein there is a form to submit a leave request and on submitting a leave request it will be sent to another user for approval now that particular user will receive this form in the form of a task and that person has to approve or reject the leave application and based on that the status will get updated so let's get started so the first step here is to create new application now this time we are going to use second option creating using application builder select data source and say confirm Now you need to specify the application name or specify the interface that we will, we will need that is uh, leave application. So the plural form of record is uh, automatically updated and you will be redirected to the new screen where uh, you can specify the input data or the elements uh, for your interface. Now since this is a leave application, we are going to need one text field where we are going to specify the reason for applying for leave, number of uh, days that you are going to uh, apply leave for and then the duration that is from date and to date. And let us uh, mark all as required and say confirm. Now this is the step where you can specify the users of this application. For the demonstration purpose, I'm using single user and say create application. Now this may take some time, uh, should not be less than a minute. Because with this method, uh, APN is going to help us create the entire structure of the application. So you need not have to worry about creating different groups, data entities, data types, creating interfaces separately. It will be created automatically with this option. So with this, we now have a basic application in place wherein a user will be able to raise a leave request to the respective manager. But what we need next is we also need an approval process wherein when the leave request is submitted to the manager, manager should be able to approve it. And for that we will be needing three more things. One is the interface for approval. And this you can create from the existing interface of a new leave application. Only thing is you will have to make some changes in this interface. First thing is you will have to make the fields in the approved leave application like reason for leave, number of leaves as read only. Because the approval is not going to make changes there. And second thing, second addition that we are going to need is a drop down for approval or rejection of the leave application. And these changes you can do from the component configuration as you can see on the screen. Now the second thing that you will need to do is to add a new process for the approval. 
with the method that we just used to create the application two processes are created but we are going to new one more so i'll just share now the configuration of the new process So as you can see, I have created a new process for reviewing the leave application and I have pulled in a user input task wherein the interface that has to be mapped with that task is the review approval application that we just created. Now once this process is created, save and publish it. Next important thing that we will be needing now is to map this sub process to the main parent process. Now once we have both the processes in place, save and publish them. Next important step is going to be is to create a site. So now you will be able to see the configuration that I have added for the site. In this configuration, you will need to specify the name of the process model. As you can see, I have added a page here. So if I edit, you will be able to see the configuration. So you need to select type as action and the content will be the new leave application process. Now everything is in place. Now we can go ahead and test our site. Now fill in the details like reason for leave. Number of leaves that you will be needing and select from and to date and submit the application. Now once this application gets submitted, as you know that our process has a sub process connected to it. So it is actually including a sub process here on approval of which a new task will get triggered now you can also skip this process of sub process and instead of adding a sub process you can actually add a user input task in the main leave application process so now here you can see a new task has been added since I'm using same user I'm I'm only applying for the leave and I'm getting a request for approval here so once you select request for approval you will see the the fields which we had added as read only that is coming from our review application form and only thing that can be edited is the drop down to approve or reject the request And with this, we are able to complete the approval process.